one, fire. An update from last week when we reported on a successful full-scale hot fire test of a space launch system or SLS rocket booster in the Utah desert. NASA and aerospace company Northrop Grumman oversaw the effort and data collected will help engineers better design future boosters to launch astronauts to the moon and beyond. This week, NASA discussed the future of its Artemis program, which looks to put humans back on the lunar surface for the first time in half a century. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first po person of color on the moon. And on these increasingly complex missions, astronauts will live and work in deep space and will develop the science and technology to send the first humans to Mars. Artemis 1 is to be NASA's first flight of its massive SLS vehicle, which carries the Orion spacecraft on top. After countless delays and setbacks, the agency eyes a launch date no earlier than August 29th for an uncrewed mission that will circle the moon before returning home to Earth. Also, this week in history, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the National Aeronautics and Space Act of 1958, establishing the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA. Sulu. But also this week, sad news about a space pioneer who only set foot on a make-believe spaceship. Nichelle Nichols, more commonly known as Lieutenant Uhura from the 1960s TV show Star Trek, died. Step into my parlor, gentlemen. Nichols is remembered for her groundbreaking role as a black space officer and what's widely considered the first interracial kiss on American television between her and fellow cast member William Shatner, who played Captain James T. Kirk. In a social media post, Shatner praised her work advancing social issues in the U.S. and throughout the world. Nichols was 89. We leave you this week with a new image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The Cartwheel Galaxy formed following a high-speed collision that happened some 400 million years ago. The rings you see are shock waves from that interstellar crash and what form they ultimately take remains a mystery. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.